We saw this coming. The calamity has taken a sinister turn. Welcome back to Wizard PhD, it's Professor Lynette, and today I am giving you the overview for October, which is Defend Against the Dark Arts Month in Wizards Unite. <laughs> Winnie! Winnie! Not only is October my favorite month for the spirit of Halloween, it's also my birthday month, so happy birthday to me and all you October babies out there. The information in today's video has been provided to me by the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team. Thank you to WB Games and Niantic for providing me with advanced information so I can provide you with all of the inside scoop for the events. Let's get into it. All right, details say the calamity appears to be behind a new surge of dark magic from Nocturne Alley, creating seeds of doubt and confusion <laughs> within the ministry. I'm gonna pause right here because we already had ministry secrets. We we're talking about that last month, September Brilliant Events. Now we're in October and we have doubt and confusion, which I believe in my professional conspiracy opinion is part of the plan with the calamity. Pick up your wand to defend against these dark arts and discover the meaning behind the calamity's sinister turn. I'll be displaying imagery from my good friend Orange Wizard who has provided an event calendar for your overview. We have October Wizarding Weekend up first. Now check out my Wizarding Weekend video to find the full details there, but we have have Friday, October 2nd, 11 a.m. Pacific time through Monday, October 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Spend a weekend rounding up Dark Arts foundables, including Thestrals and Tom Riddle. Now look at this event artwork. Like, okay. We have Tom Riddle, Portrait of Voldemort. We have Graves. We've got some trouble here. <laughs> That's basically all I gotta say. We're kicking off the month being like, whoa buddies, we got some things to look out for. Also of note, the full moon is October 1st, so be on the lookout around that date so that you can find all the werewolves you need. Then we have our brilliant event, the first part called Darkness Rising, and that is Tuesday, October 6th at 11 a.m. Pacific time through Tuesday, October 13th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. It says, help return brilliant foundables from the Nocturne Alley, including poachers and snatchers. So, oh man, you know what that means. That means oddities. I am so excited. So we have a poacher, we've seen the poacher before, but now we have a snatcher and I cannot wait. So a brilliant event and we're focusing on oddity encounters. Man, I'm gonna be blasting through some spell energy here. <laughs> I'll make brilliant event videos as the information and details are available from the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team, but be on the lookout for this event. Then we have a very, very jam-packed community day filled weekend where we have two separate days. We have the September Makeup Community Day, which was uh, rescheduled because of our Dragon Week that we had, and that is all day, Saturday, October 17th. Uh, 12.01 a.m. start time through 11.59 p.m. your local time. So make sure your paperwork is in order. Step inside the ministry atrium where you can encounter ministry officials, flocks of interdepartmental memos, and more. Then we have October Community Day on Sunday, October 18th, where it's the same thing, 12.01 a.m. start time through 11.59 p.m. Again, jam-packed weekend here. Get ready for pranks and mischief and visit Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. Uh, something else to note here is that the new moon is October 16th, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of Death Eaters around this time while we're getting into Community Day back to back. Closing out the month, we have Darkness Rising Part 2 starting Tuesday, October 20th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time through Tuesday, October 27th, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, and it says, help return brilliant foundables from Vorgan and Burks, including dark witches and wizards. So we already know what these look like because our harrowing Halloween event last year had the dark witch, and we of course know what the dark wizard looks like from our wizarding challenges, but this is part of the brilliant event, which means they're gonna be all purple and out in the world and we're going to be encountering them. So this month we have an oddity filled 
month with brilliant events and i don't know i feel like that's super intense especially if we're thinking about this storyline and we have seeds of doubt and confusion within the ministry i am so i'm i feel like the dialogue is gonna be there again so if you want my reaction to this be sure to check me out. I'll be starting all of these events at the event start time. Every single event this month, I will start on the beginning time for my local time, Pacific time, because that's when the events are live for me. So be sure to check me out here on YouTube or also on Twitch. And of course, I'll have my compilation of all the dialogue bits and my reactions after I complete the brilliant events. I'm so excited. But that is the overview. And whoa, one more thing. We have another full moon. Full moon in the month of October, October 31st. So we're in for spooky Halloween time. Again, another chance to get werewolves this month and fill out your pages there. Like I said, the specific details for each event will be available as soon as I have information to share from the Wizards Unite team. Thank you again. WB Games and Niantic for providing me with advanced information so I can share with the community all the details and get all the hype going. I'm so excited for the month of October, so let me know in the comments down below what you think about these events, what you are most looking forward to, and if you have any ideas as to where is the direction in this story going, because it seems like it's pretty dark. It's gonna be dark. It's October. It's, it's happening. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Wands Ready.